Hey, I am in the Broken Arrow Performing Arts Center right now because our team is getting ready for our in-person gatherings. We're so close, just a few days uh, on July 12th. Uh, we're gonna have two services starting on that Sunday, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And one of the reasons that I'm really excited to gather again in person is because I've missed being able to have age-specific ministry uh, for your kids and your students. This season uh, has been really cool in a lot of ways. We've been able to do a lot of great ministry online but it's just not very easy to do ministry for each age group uh, as they need it when you're just doing it online. And I believe that every age in our church really matters to God, that he has something specific that he wants to say to them. There are principles from his word that they need to know and understand, but it's best taught when you can target their age group, their stage of life, and bring it to them in a way that brings it to life. This was true for me. And it, one of the reasons that our kids and your kids matter so much to me is because I met Jesus in a really personal way when I was five years old. Uh, we were in my family's uh, little home church in Estes Park, Colorado, and we were sitting around the living room, crisscross applesauce style, and uh, the church kind of went this way. Somebody would bring an acoustic guitar, and this was the hippie days, okay? Everybody had a lot of long hair and headbands and be you know denim bell bottoms, and we'd sit in the living room and we'd sing songs, and then the kids would go into another room and we'd watch uh, the Gospel Bill Show, which is uh, just a great kids show that was uh, made at that time specifically for kids by our founding pastor, and uh, we. We watched one particular episode of that show, and it was after that that I remember being very aware of God. I knew that He was real, and I knew that He loved me and had a plan for me and wanted to be a part of my life. And I remember telling my mom, I'm ready to ask Jesus into my heart. And I knelt down with her, this little rock fireplace, and I asked Jesus into my heart. And that was a moment that profoundly marked the rest of my life. And so for me, when I look at our kids, my kids and your kids, I really believe that they matter to God and they're able to hear from God, no matter how young or maybe to us, how disconnected it feels like they are from the things of God, God's not far off from them. And one of the things I love about kids is they just live with a different level of imagination, don't they? They just live with a different level of joy and adventure and exploration. And I love that our church is full of kids. And I hope that you do too. And as we gather together, especially for those of us that are grownups watching this, adults, I just, want, I just I want to ask you for this. Would you have a sense of expectation, not just for us, but also for our kids? Would you join me in praying for our kids and for our students that God would work in their life? Because I believe that God wants to show up in their world. They don't face smaller problems than me or you. They may face different problems, but they're no less significant. And I believe that God has answers for them just like he does for us. And I believe the church, any, any church family is always better when we make a big deal out of kids for a couple of reasons. One, I think they just bring a lot of joy. And number two, there's a blessing associated with caring for kids. Jesus made it really clear that when we love and serve kids, even if all we do is give them a cup of cold water, there's a reward, a blessing of God attached to serving kids. And I believe it's because God not only cares about kids, but he also wants you and me to stay young. There's something about having kids around us that keeps us young, young in our faith, young in our joy, that it gives us a sense of adventure and an outlook on life that just says more is possible. Let's go look and see what's over that hill. Let's explore that field. That's a sense of childlike wonder and faith that God wants us to have. There's a really cool story, you may have heard it, a story of a guy named J.M. Barry. He wrote Peter Pan, and you may have heard his story in the movie Finding Neverland, but when the curtain was gonna go up on Peter Pan in 1904, I think it was in December, they were gonna show Peter Pan for the very first time. J.M. Barry was very adamant about one thing. He said, when that curtain goes up and I share this play with the world for the first time, there has to be kids in the audience. And he knew this, he knew that adults and grownups would never experience the message he was trying to give them if there weren't kids around them where they could share it together and these grown-ups could see what he was saying through the eyes of a child. And I believe that principle translates to us today. There's things that God wants you to see and experience, but if we're too grown up, if we're too jaded and hurt and skeptical and cynical about life, that we don't have a childlike faith, we may never see the opportunities and the, the, the solutions and the answers that God has for us. And so as we gather, 
We're gonna make a big deal out of our kids. We're gonna serve our kids. I wanna serve your kids. I want your kids to experience, I want your students to experience the joy and the life of God in a personal way. And I believe when we do, not only are they gonna be blessed, but we get to stay young. We get to have a sense of faith and joy that says the future is a bright place. And especially right now in a world that feels scary and confusing, I think we need a childlike faith more than ever. A faith that says God is good and he has answers so we can approach it with joy and confidence and we can see him work. So I hope you join us starting on July 12th, two service times, 10 a.m., 4 p.m. I, I hope you join us, I hope you bring your kids, I hope you bring your family, I hope you bring your grandma and your neighbors and your boss because we believe that God wants to show up in their life. I believe we have a God of hope and joy to offer them. Bring them with you. We're gonna experience God together. We love you, we hope to see you then.